Hello and welcome to Little Blue Star. I'm Jane Allen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today's card is a cute little daisy card and it's a slimline card, so like tall and slim. Um, obviously you could have it that way up or that way up. It looks gorgeous either way. I've kept mine blank, um, but you could add sentiments or whatever. Um, so let's get into it. So for our slimline card, we want a piece of cardstock 8x8. Eight and then you just score down the middle at four, okay, and then burnish that. Then a whisper white layer or a basic white layer is the new one um, for your layer of white here. Uh, three and three quarters by seven and three quarters. I'm just going to glue that on. And then that's our basic card there, okay. Make sure it's the right way up, not that it matters for this one, but um, that's just a habit. And then what I've done here is already cut some um, squares out with the stitch shapes dies, which are just um, this die here. And I've cut three out, so I'm going to have three like so. Okay, and then what I want to do next is cut the daisies out. So I've already cut two and stuck those together. But it's just using the daisy punch and white. I'm just going to punch two of those out. Okay, two of those. And then obviously we're going to stick those together to create that little, the fuller effect. Where did it go? There it is. Um, so you just want to layer it up. So obviously it's going to fit in the little, in the little gap between Okay, so just do a little twirl just to make sure it's in those gaps. Stick that in. All right, so now we've got three of those. And then what I thought I'd do is um, use my seaside spray just to give a little bit of depth and my blending brush. So I'm just going to get some ink on my blending brush and then go in the centre and just give some depth to the center there just gives a nice little effect in the middle and also you can go around the edges as well so get some ink and then just go around just the tips of these little daisy petals just to give a bit of dimension again Okay, so we're just going to go round and the other one as well. Could have done that before, couldn't I? But never mind, it doesn't take too long. Obviously, you can do that with your sponge dauber or sponges, but these are quite good. And then just in the middle, so it gives that little bit of depth to your flower okay and then what I'm going to do is glue them on to the um, squares no I won't I'm going to pop them on dimensionals to be honest because it'll give it a nice um, 3d effect now you can have these flat or you could just use your bone folder and just grab the um, edges just either go downwards or you can go upwards it's up to you i'm going downwards today so they're just going to curl over if you haven't got a bone fold you can just do it with your finger i'm just using that quickly and then it will give it just another little um, 3d effect and then what i'm going to do is pop them up on dimensionals um just give it that effect okay and then in the middle of our square oops stick into my finger and the last one so quite a simple card I think and effective and obviously that's going to go in the middle there now again, you could leave it just as it is, or you could just um, like 
pop the middles out so what I did was I got some of these little dies now these are from let me just grab them they're from the pierced bloom set and you get such a lot of um, flowers on here they're gorgeous um, I've shown you that one before with the three little um, flowers in and stuff but these two here um, come as one die so just pop that off and it cuts out two at a time and that's what I've done to get these centers so I'm just going to glue those and I quite like the sort of wonkiness if you know what I mean like the oval it's not quite circular like a perfect circle you can sort of get the nice um, you know wonky effect yeah, so I quite like the, um, you know, the not perfect circle effect, if you like. And then all I'm going to do now is glue them on. Actually, what you want to do first is just lay them out so you get it in the right place. So did you see what I did there? I just centred there laid them out and did my middle one oh, and glue those those two on the right place and there we go and as I said you could add a sentiment if you wish but I mean even mine leaving mine blank and there we go, a nice little simple daisy card. You can go that way or that way. Hope you like that. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.